Hey guys, TechMentor with a video for you guys. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your MacBook if it's not turning on or powering on and you have a black screen. So how do you fix that? So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do whenever you're having this issue is try to charge it. And what I mean by charging is you want to check your connection with the cable that you're using. So there's usually two parts when you're charging a MacBook. You have this cable and then the adapter as well here for the wall plug sometimes either this could be defective or the cable could be defective so if you have a defective cable it might not charge if you have a different cable to try go ahead and try using a different cable and a different adapter as well to rule out that it's not the cable that's not charging because now some of the USB-C cables here don't have a light indicator so it's hard to tell if they're actually charging or not so the best thing is to try a different power cable the combination of it and that may be an easy fix. Now, if you're still having an issue where it's still not turning on or it's black like that, the next thing you want to do is find your power button, right? This is the power button on this one, which is a M1 MacBook, but similarly, you'll find the same kind of buttons on older MacBook. You want to press and hold this for about maybe 15, 20 seconds or sometimes even longer until you see the Apple logo and the loading screen pops up. Just keep on pressing and holding. It sounds silly, but that's how the kind of boot sequence works. And at the same time, also make sure you are plugged in to your charger as well. When you're plugged in, of course, you want to do this so that if it is having issues turning on, hopefully the power will push it to turn on. So you want to just press and hold just like that you'll see here you want to do it until you hear the noise and then you see the apple logo up here and that should mean your macbook is going to get started for you now let's say you did this and you heard the sound but you're not getting anything on the screen if you do have a, a touchpad or one of this navigation bar you want to see if you can turn up the brightness and what i mean by that if you go down here look at it you should see on the one with the touch one there's a brightness option here you can just press and hold to get the brightness up as max power as you can. And if you have a physical button, there should be one that looks like that where you want to try to bright the screen up because it may be very low light that it's hard to see or completely turned off because if that's the case, your MacBook might have made a sound and it's turned on. But as you can see here, it could look like it's not turned on or it's dead. So you want to go ahead and try that out. Now, if you did that, and you're still having issues, the other thing you can do is if you heard the sound when it turned on, it's still black and you turned up the brightness not showing up is connecting to external monitor. So if you have external monitor, take the cable and then connect it to that external monitor. See if you can get display. And if you can get display, that means there could be an issue with your actual screen. If you're seeing the display on the other side and you can use the MacBook like you could on a normal basis. Now, after you have done that and you're still not getting anything, there's no sound, there's no display, even with the external monitor, now it's time to try to reset the PRAM and the NVRAM. Now, on a newer MacBook with the M1 chip now, if you have those models, they get reset automatically, so there's not much you can do. But if you have an older MacBook that's Intel-based, you can actually follow this set of sequence on your keyboard. So I'll show you the keyboard sequence that you want to follow. So pointing down at my keyboard here. So you want to do is this keyboard option here. You're going to locate the command and the option here, these two buttons, and then the P and the R. So you could do command option, right? Command option, this might be easier. And then P and the R, so these two. And you're gonna hold it and then at the same time also try to power it on as well. Now, it might get tricky, so you may need an extra pair of hand, but you basically press and hold down all four buttons, the command, option, P, R, and the P. So it's gonna be like a sequence of buttons. And if you get can get someone to hold the power button at the same time, it will try to reset the PRAM. Now, this is a little tricky, but it works in some cases for the older Intel-based Mac here. Now, if you did that and it's still not working, now the next thing you can try to do is resetting the SMC. Now, on the newer MacBook, again, with the M1 chip or newer, later, you, there is no SMC, so you can't really reset that. Now, for Intel-based MacBook, the older one, the way you do it works slightly different from that of PRAM reset. So what you'll do is, this time, you'll locate the Shift key right here. You want to do the Shift 
and then you want to do a control so shift control option so shift control option and then the power at the same time so you want to press shift control option and then the power and then at the same time you're going to press and hold and then release at the same time until you see a light flicker on either either the cable or the screen and that means you have done a p or a smc reset and that may help your macbook boot up and maybe working now after you have done that and it's still not working you may need to do a recovery of your macbook now the recovery process is a little bit longer and the way you do it is there is a tool called configurator but you'll need another macbook in order to connect it and then try to restore it that way but here that's another video we'll cover on how to do that because that takes a little bit longer so if you want to check out that video it should be in our channel after this video and we'll show you also how to reinstall the mac os which again will help if you're really having an issue and you simply can't get the macbook to turn on so i hope this video helped you guys with some of the tips we share with you if so please make sure to like and subscribe button also if you found a way to fix it where your macbook won't turn on and you found another solution leave it in the comment section to share with everyone i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time